Hi, this is Liz. We're here at Devil's Tower in Wyoming. It is Wyoming, right, honey? Yep. Yes, here in Wyoming. Uh, we've been exploring. We're having a wonderful time. Really have seen some beautiful things since we've been here. I uh, want to tell you that the Native American name, the one of the more common Native American names for the area is actually, or for the, the tower, is actually Bear Lodge. And we saw a fantastic picture rendition of this enormous bear scratching its claws down the tower, giving it that characteristic look that we associate with this tower with the, the big grooves running down the side. It was very cool. The first thing that we saw when we got into the park, however, was prairie dogs. There was a whole field. They said it's a sort of preservation area for prairie dogs and they were so chubby. It's the winter and they were all stuffed up with food to get them through this cold season and they were just the cutest things possible. There's a great big sign across the ground reminding us not to feed them but we got just to the edge of the asphalt and we stood there and watched them pop up out of their little holes and look around and decide are those people dangerous or do those people have food for me? Should I go over there? Should I stay where I am? And thankfully they all stayed where they were <laughs> in their tunnels and their little hills. So that was a lot of fun. We came up toward the visitor center area. There's a visitor center here. There's uh, restrooms at the parking lot and there are these beautiful benches. I just love the benches. They look like armchairs. They're obviously quite new that they've been added recently. We also are taking currently, you can see around me, we're taking this loop trail around the tower and we saw a plaque informing us about the Native American prayer cloths that are tied in a lot of the trees here. You're not going to see any photographs of them or any of them in my video here because we learned that they're sacred and giving them undue attention, poking at them, pulling on them, even photographing them takes away some of that sacredness. So we're very careful to omit that from our videos and photographs today. It's beautiful here. It's winter. There's still some ice on the ground on the trail. The trail is asphalt. It's paved. As far as we can tell so far, it's paved the entire way around. <laughs> Although it's not wheelchair accessible the entire way, there are some sharp ups and downs. But there is some snow and ice on the trail and I did have a little runaway truck moment where I went sliding down the ice and had to stop myself on a tree. <laughs> that was a little bit scary, <laughs> but I'm fine now as you can see. So we're enjoying this very much. Highly recommend it. I think it's a wonderful place. I also wanted to say that the ranger station, the visit, excuse me, the visitor center is closed today because it's Martin Luther King Day, but they do have an outdoor building, a small building that looks kind of like a little free library, if you know what that is, that had this passport cancellation stamp inside it, which I thought was such a smart idea. So even if it's snowing or raining, it stays out of all of that inclement weather and in the box so you can open the little door and get the stamp out and stamp your passport book, even if the visitor center is closed. So that was very cool. Thank you, visitor center, for doing that for us. So we're having a great time. Highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.